I am attending the G20 of parliamentary speakers. We are here because this year we are addressing the issues around trade, global trade, the growth, the non-growth of economies. We want to share experiences as parliaments, see how we can intervene, see how we can put the people in our own countries who do not usually understand this very convoluted and uh, complicated international trade issues because we are concerned. We are concerned that uh, the world is becoming more and more uh, protectionist, uh, small economies are being killed, the rules which were put in place many years ago do not necessarily give small and emerging economies a chance to grow. So our position here is that we want the voices of all people on earth to be heard. We want the chance for economies and countries to grow their own. We do not want to be dictated upon. We do not want to be um, affected by the negative bickering between big countries. We want our space to grow our own economy so that our children can inherit what little wealth we can create for them. In the last few years, the world has seen a lot of migration. In Africa, we have seen people drowning in the oceans between the Mediterranean and Europe. But we've also been aware that, in fact, the migration around Africa is smaller than the migration of the people from this region, from China into the rest of the world. Um, why do people go around the world? Why do people leave their countries? They leave countries because they want to see greener pastures. They leave their own countries because there is violence. They leave countries because their economies are not growing. We accept that. What we do want to see is a world which is accommodative to migrants, which is supportive to countries to keep their own people, which enables economies to grow so that people don't have to leave their own boundaries to go elsewhere. But if human beings decide that they want to go, go we want free access. All we are asking for is that when I go into a country, I respect the way they do things. I acquaint myself with their laws and I respect those laws, their cultures and the way they do things. We think as South Africa that uh, one of the things we want to start pushing around Parliament and the IPU is that even before our leaders sign off on treaties and agreements, that their parliaments should at least know, should have seen. In our country, any treaty must go through the two houses for it to become effective. So we want to take it a little bit further. We want to say that people who represent people, that is parliaments, need to know what negotiations our countries are involved in, how much we are spending, why we are spending, so that we can better understand and enrich the decisions taken by our governments. We represent the people after all. Whatever decisions that are taken by the executive or by business have an impact on the ordinary lives of people. So we would want to see growth in consultation, in uh, making decisions which are open in uh, the ability of parliaments to stop if they don't agree that the decisions are in support or for the benefit of their people. We would like to see active parliamentarianism. We would like to see parliamentarians taking themselves seriously, really representing the interests of the people.